As a maker, using digital fabrication is wonderful to make gifts for friends and family. This right here is no exception. This commemorates and helps celebrate the lives of two very important family members that we lost last year. I'm gonna show you how I made this, and in doing so, show you how you can make your own special keepsake using the methods involved. Let's get to it. There you are, welcome back. A family keepsake, that's what this is, and it's utilizing different forms of digital fabrication. This part was made using Glowforge, or well, as I affectionately refer to it, Bob, my Glowforge Pew Pew machine. This part, the holder, was made using 3D printing, which you've seen quite a bit here on the channel. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna take you through how I designed this part here, and then I'm gonna show you how I sent it to the Glowforge for lasering. We're then gonna go into Fusion 360, and then finally, we're gonna put this on the Prusa machine and print it out. Those are the steps. Let's get started. Like all good designs, we start at the computer and for this design right here, I started in Photoshop. Now, never mind that I have copious amounts of layers in Photoshop. I'm no Photoshop expert, but I can get by. And here's why we did the design. So my wife's Aunt Judy and her husband, my wife's uncle Bob, they both passed away last year and uh, it was unfortunate, we were sad. We couldn't gather as a family because of everything that was going on. We're going to gather as a family recently because it's a lot safer now to do so. And so this was made to kind of commemorate the, the gathering. And the reason it's a slot machine is because Judy loved slot machines. She loved going to Vegas and Reno and playing slot machines. That was her thing. She just loved it. And so at the top, I've got Ocean Shores, 2021 because we're going to Ocean Shores here in Washington. Loose slots because it's a slot machine. That's what we do. We've got Judy and Bob on the tumblers, four jackpots right there, and Williams family listed right there because this is my wife's mom's side of the family, last name Williams. And so that's the general design. And if you look right here, this is open and you can see through it right here. The purpose is we can now use ribbon to put here and almost kind of hang it like a Christmas tree ornament. That's kind of cool. So now what I need to do is save this as a PNG and bring it into the Glowforge software. Here we go, we're in the Glowforge application and I've preloaded the Glowforge with some material. In fact, there's a QR code on the material and the camera in the Glowforge reads that and sets up your settings. It was medium cherry plywood from their proof grade materials. I just slid it in the machine. Think about it like Prusa. Prusa has a machine and Prusa makes materials, and Prusa makes a slicer with built-in settings for those materials. Just like, that's kind of like an easy button for 3D printing. That was easy. The Glowforge with proof grade materials and the ability to scan that QR code to auto set the material in their software, that's almost like the easy button for laser cutting. Which was in essence a sophisticated heat beam which we called a laser. I've got this laid out in a two by four grid. And so I've got eight total that I'm going to laser in the Glowforge. And because of how this is set up, up here is where I do the engrave. And the engrave is where the Glowforge laser just, uh, it doesn't cut all the way through the material. It just kind of, well, it engraves it. it. It removes a little bit of it so it makes a pattern in the material. And anywhere in this one you see dark, that's the Glowforge etching the material. And then below that, I've got cuts. And the cut, for here is the outline in order to remove it from the bigger piece of material. And then there's a circle cut right there and that's where we put the ribbon to hang it as a Christmas tree ornament. So this is all set up. All I have to do is hit this button labeled print. No, uh, I refuse to say the Glowforge is a, is a 3D laser printer, I promise you. But they don't care and they said call it whatever you want. And so if you look up here, it is called Bob. <laughs> We're gonna send this to Bob and Bob is gonna make us eight more of these. or the rest or the thing right here. This is so that our 
awesome little keepsake could be put on a shelf or the top of a nightstand or something like that. I figured it was a great way to be able to display this if someone wanted to be able to do it and it uses very little material. And over here, this is how we designed it. And it's this, it's a simple, simple design. This is the, let's see if I can do this, edit sketch. That's it, <laughs> this is it. I just kind of drew some lines and this side is longer just because if I want something to lean back, I wanna have more support on that side. And then I constrained these to be two millimeters uh, wide. Uh, I 3.75 millimeter space in between because I used my calipers and I measured that and then I used a little bit more space. I extruded it and then uh, I added some fillets. And really, I mean, that's, that's it, a super simple design that took maybe 30 seconds, maybe 60 seconds. And now that we have this, it's useful for more than just this. And so simple design skills are key for this and uh, it works great, it works great. Look at that. Now I'm gonna load on the SD card. Let's go start it on the printer. The Glowforge is lasering, the Prusa is 3D printing, and I can't wait to show you these. I do have some that I pre-made, and I, I'll just kind of show you. So this is the one at the beginning, and this is a hardwood from Glowforge proof grade materials, and the filament is Amy Double D's Blood of My Enemies from Protopasta. This is a plywood, I don't remember which one, from the Glowforge proof grade materials, and the filament on the holder is 3D PN Vanilla Bean Ice Cream from Jesse PLA from Printed Solid. Finally, finally, there's this one. And this is the draft board from Glowforge. And uh, same 3D PN Vanilla Bean Ice Cream holder at the bottom. Which one's your favorite? Which one do you like? I kind of like this one because it looks cool and it's bright and vibrant. But all of these, what I will probably do before we head out to the ocean is hit them with a a clear coat, something to just protect the finish over time. These are meant to be kept as keepsakes, so it makes sense for me to want them to last as long as possible. One of the things I wanna mention though, I used a Glowforge and a Prusa and Fusion 360. Uh, all of these things are kinda of really expensive if you think about it, but you can find yourself an incredibly affordable laser, uh, and the Prusa isn't the end all of 3D printers. You could easily do this printing on an Ender 3 variant or an Ender 3 itself. Instead of Fusion 360, you could use FreeCAD or Tinkercad. The options for you to create this are incredibly open and well within the budget of many, and you don't have to have the same materials or tools that I used in order to do it yourself. I think that's the important thing to remember here. I would love to see your makes if you do something like this. You could use GIMP, FreeCAD, an Ender 3, and a cheap, smaller laser and get very similar results. Uh, I like these. Tell me what your favorite one is. And if you make your own, please tag me on the Twitters. I'm at Joel Telling. Well, this is fun. We do have to get ready to go to the ocean and I gotta watch these makes as they're happening. Thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. And as always, high five.